back around the July-August time early this year, there was a lot of discussion around a new web API called Web Environment Integrity, which had a lot of really vague goals and vague technical limitations, which led a lot of people like me who actually read the proposal and actually understood it to basically describe it as a generic web-based DRM for use in your web browser, as it could allow a website to just choose not to load if it didn't agree with the client environment, based on things like the operating system you're running, if you have ad blocking in the environment, or most relevant to this situation, the web browser you are using. And we totally pinky promise swear that it would not be used for fingerprinting users. Now, I mentioned the web browser being important because of where the API was coming from. This was being spearheaded on a personal GitHub repo by four Google engineers. Very, very personal project, totally not being paid to work on this. Seeing this be a Google project, a lot of people were rightfully very angry when they heard about this leading to a lot of people opening up issues on the project to leave their frustration. Now, a lot of these issues are entirely reasonable, just breaking down like what is actually wrong with this and why basically you shouldn't be doing this. Things like this one right here, issue number 28. Don't. Sometimes you have to ask the question whether something should be done at all. And trusted computing is certainly one of those cases where the answer is obviously a big fat no. So please reconsider what you believe in, leave this demon to history where it forever belongs. And a lot of the replies are entirely reasonable. This is DRM infrastructure for websites and fundamentally counter to an open web. 100% agree. This proposal offers far too many opportunities for abuse. The authors have clearly tried to mitigate this, but their measures are insufficient and always will be because the underlying idea is flawed. Let's leave this one in the past. It will only ever cause more harm than good. But a lot of other people were just being mean for the sake of being mean. Cowards. Stinky. <laughs> Stinky. For the love of God, please don't even dare. Were y'all sober when you wrote this? Are you even real people? Please never write y'all. I feel like I lose an IQ point every time I have to say it. Absolutely not. Capitalist psychopaths. And I can just keep going on and on and on and on. Now, most people, it seems, were being entirely reasonable. But anytime something gets even remotely popular, stuff like this is going to show up. And that wasn't exactly helped much by one of the authors basically saying... Don't worry, guys, you just didn't understand the proposal. It's not actually web-based DRM. You just didn't read it properly. Hey, everyone, thank you for your patience, and thank you to everyone who engaged constructively. It is clear based on the feedback we've received that a bigger discussion needs to take place, and I'm not sure my personal repository, you know, the place the proposal was actually being made, is the best place to do it. We are looking for a better forum and will update when we have found one. We want to continue the discussion and collaborate to address your core concerns in an improved explainer. WEI's goal is to make the web more private and safe. WEI is not designed to single out browsers or extensions. WEI prevents ecosystem lock-in through holdbacks. WEI does not disadvantage browsers that spoof their identity. If you want more context on what was going on at the time, check out my prior videos on the topic because I've already covered all this. The real problem is not that we didn't understand the proposal, it's that we did and didn't like it because it was a really, really bad proposal. And it wasn't just the users that had a problem. We had an article from Brave, Web Environment Integrity Locking Down the Web, one from Vivaldi. New, what's happening with Google's new dangerous Web Environment Integrity specification? Of course, there's one from the FSF. Web Environment Integrity is an all-out attack on the free internet. And while Mozilla didn't write a blog post, someone did ask for their position on the API. And they replied by saying, Mozilla opposes this proposal because it contradicts our principles and vision for the open web. Detecting fraud and invalid traffic is a challenging problem that we're interested in helping address. However, this proposal does not explain how it will make practical progress on the listed use cases, and there are clear downsides to adopting it. 
But even with all of this going on, all of this feedback, they still tried to sneak the trial into Chromium and thought that nobody was going to notice. Well, people did notice. Actually, quite a few people noticed. And you know what? Only thing we can do at this point is, I guess let's start filing antitrust complaints because what else can we really do? They seem like they're going to do this, so maybe our government can put a stop to it. Whilst it's a bit harder to do in certain countries than others, I did see a lot of people sending me back the replies they got and pretty much nothing was going to be done. It hadn't been implemented fully yet, so they didn't really have anything to go on. I didn't really expect anything else to happen after that. I expected web environment integrity to be implemented, browsers like Brave, browsers like Firefox to just not care about it. It probably be implemented in Edge as well, maybe in Safari, and then those smaller browsers would eventually be forced to use it because websites just wouldn't work properly without it, and it would just be a thing that exists. But, to my surprise, that's not what happened. So you may have spotted something on the WEI repo. If we go back to it, scroll up to the top, this repository has been archived by the owner on November 3rd, 2023. It is now read only. Let's go back to the homepage and look at the readme. Note, this proposal is no longer pursued. This is not a drill. This is not a mistake. This is entirely intentional and was also announced over on the thread where Web Environment Integrity was first originally announced. This thread had been pretty much dead for quite a while. Since about August, nobody had really used it. In September, someone asked, is there any progress on this? Like, is this actually going to happen? But just a few days ago, Ben Weiser, who was also the person who left this comment all the way down here, the one explaining that you don't understand what you're actually talking about, he announced this. Hey all, thanks for your patience. After carefully considering all your feedback, we've decided to no longer pursue the Web Environment Integrity proposal. We've archived the WEI GitHub repository, the one we just looked at before, and we'll revert all WEI code on Chromium. That being done right here. We are no longer pursuing this experiment, so reverting all changes. Squashed all the reverts into a single commit because this is fairly large and there are a lot of small conflicts. This is one of the very, very rare times that yelling about something on the internet actually gets it done. I didn't think this was going to happen. I am just as surprised as you are. I honestly did expect WEI to just become a standard part of the web, like, you know, Wide Vine and all of these other things that you just have to accept it here. But it didn't. Now, there is one part of that comment that I did skip over. The Android team will instead be experimenting with a narrowly scoped web view only feature that won't make it to web browsers. The full details for that experiment as well as unique web view only challenges have been published to the Android developers blog. So whilst web environment integrity in its current form being used in the web browser isn't going to happen, the idea of web environment integrity isn't being completely ditched. Instead, it's being modified to fit into the Android web view. The Android web view is a way to show web content in an application. And I'm not entirely opposed to this use case. So this is increasing trust for embedded media. How does this relate to the Web Environment Integrity API proposal? We've heard your feedback and the Web Environment Integrity proposal is no longer being considered by the Chrome team. In contrast, the Android WebView Media Integrity API is narrowly scoped and only targets web views embedded in apps. It simply extends existing functionality on Android devices that have Google Mobile Services, GMS, and there are no plans to offer it beyond embedded media such as streaming video and audio or beyond Android web views. Whilst it's certainly nice to say this and have this commitment, it's still very early days. This literally isn't available publicly yet, so it's really hard to say where it's going to go. Later this year, it's going to be available as part of an early access program, and once that happens, well, we'll see if it's even a good idea 
for the Android Web Views. So what is the challenge with Android Web Views? The Android Web View API lets app developers display web pages which embed media. With increased control over the UI and advanced configuration options to allow a seamless integration in the app, this brings a lot of flexibility but it can be used as a means for fraud and abuse because it allows app developers to access web content and intercept or modify user interactions with it. Whilst this has its benefits when apps embed their own web content, it does not prohibit bad actors from modifying content and by proxy misrepresenting its source. The new Android WebView Media Integrity API, which is a absolute mouthful, will give embedded media providers access to a tailored integrity response that contains a device and app integrity verdict so they can ensure their streams are running in a safe and trusted environment, regardless of which app store the embedding app was installed from. These verdicts are simple low entry metadata about the app and device and don't contain any user or device identifiers. Unlike apps and games using the Play Integrity API, media providers will not obtain the app's play licensing status and apps will also be able to exclude their package name from the verdict if they choose. Now, this is really light on details. Like, what is being said here doesn't sound bad. But I think they realized from the web environment integrity situation, just... Don't say anything until it is done, because if you start saying things, people are going to take everything you say and hyperanalyze it as they should, and then be very critical of it. If you don't say anything, then people can't be critical. That right there is the big brain strat. And look, if I'm being completely honest, I don't really care about it being used in specific applications. I was not happy about all of these, you know, kernel level anti-cheat, which is basically a rootkit. I don't like the way that DRM works in gaming. I don't like all of these DRM systems we have going on right now. My line in the sand was crossed many, many years ago. This is just an extra step. I don't care at this point. If apps are going to start using this, fine. Whatever. It is what it is, basically. If it actually stays in the Android web view and is only being used for embedded media, I don't really care. Now, if in a couple of months we hear, oh, it was pretty good in the Android web view, let's expand it to Android Chrome. Then we can have another discussion because then we have an actual problem. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is still a problem being embedded in Android web views? Do you think it was a problem in the first place? Or do you think this would actually be a good thing for the web and ultimately would have made things better? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, the Libero Pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And I'm so happy this is over.